All right, today we're going to be covering some of the options you have when it comes to texture spraying. Texture spraying could be used for spraying drywall finishes, for creating texture on ceilings or floors, for spraying fireproofing and similar applications. We're going to cover some of the choices you have as far as the equipment goes, in this case with Graco. This is their base model for texture spraying. It's a fast finish unit. You can see it's the cup on top. This is ideal for small occasional use. As we go up from here, we get into the RTX series, which has a hopper on the actual unit itself to help operator fatigue. And so those are well suited. Uh, they start at the 1500 series and they move up into the 5500 series. The main difference is the gallons per minute that the pumps offer. The 5500 is well suited for exterior use due to a high capacity and high gallons per minute pump. This unit here would be for light use. The RTX 1500 would also be for light use. The units are around $1,100 for these. If you're spraying texture a lot, for whatever reason they are, you're doing that for, these would be great for that sort of application. The gun itself has material flow adjustment, air pattern adjustment, and needle adjustment. This controls a little bit to how much material is able to flow out of the uh, nozzle. This will control how much material is being pumped. In this case, this is a pressure fed cup. A lot of your lower cost um, texture sprayer units will just use gravity. The pressure allows us to spray thicker material. As you can see, we're spraying green top material, which is one of your thicker standard materials coming uh, from any supply house that you would be getting your material from. And uh, the unit is pretty simple. It has a simple band that tightens down here. And it comes with two kinds of tips. It has a wide angle tip as well as more of a circular tip. So if you're from a traditional school of texture spraying, you're most likely used to a round spray pattern. The wide angle tip allows you to mimic a little more of a natural spray gun type spray. So if you are used to spraying paint and looking to do some texture work, that makes your life a little easier. So we'll go ahead and show you the unit. Uh, essentially it's a compressor, it's feeding air to the gun and pushing the material through. We can show you the unit as well here. It's well built and it's heavy duty. Again, these would be the fast finish. Then you move up to the RTX, which has a hopper on top. If you're looking to spray both paint and texture from a single unit, you could be looking at the Mark series of sprayers, so the Mark 4, 5, and 9. Main difference between those and this, those units will allow you to spray regular paints well, as you can put a standard airless gun on them, and that's what they do come with typically. And then you can add a uh, kit to enable spraying a texture. That's an extra spray gun that you would have to put on there, and you would need some sort of compressed air for that gun, but then that would allow you to do splatter finishes. Those are a great option if most of your work's done with painting, but you still need some versatility to do occasional work doing texture. So I'll go ahead and show you this. Obviously with this unit, some of the things you have a couple different tips, a four, six, eight, ten, some go up to twelve. The bigger the tip, the more material, the smaller the tip, less material. So that helps control both how much splatter we're creating as well as how thick a material we're spraying. So if we're spraying very thick materials, we're going to need the larger tip sizes to make it go. But we'll show you this. This is a standard drywall finish. I'll show you how it sprays here. I get a little more stuff. 
fine splatter you can do that by cutting down the material knob here and then obviously playing with your air and your needle the gun's pretty versatile as you can see you can get a lot of varied results depending on what you're spraying and what your needs are and obviously this would be kind of for very light use and then from there you'd be moving up into the rtx series they both function similar the guns are very much similar all right a couple other quick things about the unit has a quick latch hopper for easy change out so that does make it easier as you're trying to refill which you will quite often if you're using this to do uh, your work but it simply just it latches into the edge there and pulls down as you can see so very easy to do on each side changing and cleaning is very easy uses this little coupling system to hold it down you can just pull up here and then it'll come right off for you You'd obviously want to empty this out of any material, but then you can pull off the hopper itself. And then you would just be running water through here to clean it mostly. Uh, there's a couple different ways you might have a tip, depending on how you want to spray. As I mentioned, that's a round spray nozzle. goes directly on the gun. This is kind of the traditional way to spray uh, texture material. gives you more of a round pattern. And then if you wanted to do more of a standard line spray which is what you get with a regular spray gun if that's how you're used to spraying a standard airless you can do that by putting this together as, a, as the end of the gun uh, and you'd obviously have to clean these three tips are available for this unit four six and eight others have ten and twelve as well so you can spray some very thick material we didn't thin this material as you see in our bucket we added about a quart of water to this so it's hardly thinned at all uh, you don't really need to thin the material to spray out of the unit uh, and that's mainly due to a pressurized hopper so this little tube here cheats air off of the unit into the hopper mm -hmm. forcing the material down which allows it to spray faster and thicker material a little more effectively a standard gravity only feed would be required to have material flow so it won't spray a thicker material as well, and it would generally be a little slower. But overall, the unit's easy to clean. It's very versatile. And so that's the Graco Tech Spray Fast Finish Unit. If you have questions on it, leave them in the comments below. We'll help you out further. Thanks for watching.